Good evening, humans. Trans Source Moth here, and tonight we're taking a look at the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin Eye Guy figure from Hasbro. This is a super, super fun character design, and just, you know, the Power Rangers episode with Eye Guy was great. The Z Ranger ep episode with um, Argus Dora was even better. And yeah, so I was super happy when I saw this announced, and there's just a lot of really cool elements to it. So let's get right into this review. Let's do this. Aesthetically speaking, Eye Guy has a lot going on for a monster that is made purely just of a mass of eyes. And uh, they did a really good job with the sculpt here. And you know, there's a lot that isn't painted because I mean, it, just the intricacies of this would be a little too much. But uh, so I understand why they held back. And uh, only kind of the main eyes that that draw your your eye to them have the uh, pupils in them. And then you see the other ones are kind of just brown dots. Uh, but they did put some of that detail on the back. So, you, you know, it, it is mixed up pretty well. And I do like that sort of level of um, just variety because it helps it, you know, keep, keep the sculpt and paint a little bit interesting. Uh, not only that, but you do have some a uh, little bit little bit of a wash here on the headpiece and on the hands and feet um, I guess not so much the feet but more the hands and head and uh, it's a little um, I guess it kind of makes the body look a little extra white but you know that is what it is and uh, not only that but one of the things I really loved when they kind of showed this figure off was the eye itself and just it has a really great quality to it uh, not only that, but this piece does come out. Um, so I guess which, depending on what you prefer, um, but you can take that piece out and you can see it's a little bit more, it's, it's actually highly glossy, um, but the, the lens does help kind of rein things in a little bit, which I think is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, just looks absolutely fantastic. We don't get a whole ton of accessories with Eye Guy, but what we do get is absolutely fantastic because of its kind of modularity, if you will. So uh, starting right off with the hands, uh, right out of the box, we get a left relaxed hand, uh, which again has the kind of um, wash over it and it's got a couple eyes painted in. Uh, then we get a right gripping hand, even though he doesn't really have anything to grip. Uh, then we get two fists, same thing, same wash. Same eyes painted on, uh, no pupils on any of the eyes though, unfortunately. Then we get, uh, actually, I'll, I guess I'll say first the effects piece. And this, this little eye beam, pretty cool. It's just translucent green plastic. Just, I love this shade. And uh, yeah, that's really cool. And as you can see, this little cup cupping here is because this actually slots into the eyes themselves. And I'm actually first gonna show off the last accessory uh, last two accessories, they're kind of one piece, is the, the, the kind of floating individual eye, and then the kind of wispy spiritual eyes. And uh, that's pretty cool. And this is removable. Uh, you can see there's like a little peg right here. I kind of took it out earlier and can't really get the seat back in yet. Uh, so I'm gonna play around with that a little bit more. But I mean, that's really cool. This eye is just like the eye that is on the front, the face of Eye Guy. So that cap comes right out. And then we take our effects piece and same thing. You can see these little tabs on the side if it will focus, there we go. Uh, so those just slide into the side where you see the openings for them. I do this on camera, it's a lot harder. <laughs> there we go. And uh, yeah, works like that. And that looks pretty dang cool. And again, same thing can work for the main eye. So that's accessories. Articulation is very interesting for eye guy as you would imagine a giant monster made out of hundreds of eyes would be. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, so well, starting from top to, to bottom, um, I have seen some people able to actually remove this top part of the head, but mine is definitely not moving at all. So that's definitely glued, certainly on mine. So I don't, I'm assuming that's gonna be an inconsistency going forward. Uh, so something to look out for. Uh, so you might be able to remove this, you might not. But that being said, the eyelid does shut, which I think was a great touch. Uh, so that there's that. The eye itself kind of acts as the face and moves any which way you want. I just kind of put my thumb on the lens and so you can get off to the side pretty far, off to the side pretty far there. Uh, you can definitely look down, you can look up, uh, up-ish, and then, you know, kind of anywhere in between that range. Uh, finally, moving down to the shoulders. We do have a little bit of a, a uh, butterfly joint 
Uh, it doesn't do a ton, but it does add a little bit of variety. So, I mean, you know, play with it a little bit and you'll, you'll definitely get some, some okay range out of that. Our shoulders are on hinge and swivel, so we can come up to about there. Single jointed elbows, so we're coming to just before 90, and we got our swivel there. We have hinge and swivel at the wrists, all horizontal. Nothing at the diaphragm, because I imagine that'd be a nightmare to sculpt <laughs> and work into it. So we just have kind of a ball joint here at the waist, and that goes all around there. So you're not getting any crazy crunch or like super crazy back, but again, it's not like the character, like not like suit actor could ever do anything much with that. So um, yeah, they come down to the hips. I got, again, really good range. All these big bulky figures have just excellent, excellent splits. So that's definitely a plus. We have some, some thigh swivel. And then we have double jointed knees with also fantastic range. Then we come down, we don't, oh, we don't have a boot cut. I love that they do this on the bigger figures. So this, there's a piece right here and that's where you're getting your swivel, which is really cool. And then you can get your point and you get a little bit of up and then some decent rocker and you're just gonna run into the sculpt a little bit. So that's articulation. Seeing how I guy sizes up here, he is with the rest of the uh, Power Rangers Lightning Collection monsters so far. Here he is with some other Lightning Collection figures with some other Hasbro, with some imports, with some monsters. Finally, with an Articulate Icons Oni and yours truly in human form as an Articulate Icons Ninja. So my final thoughts on uh, Power Rangers Lightning Collection I Guy is that this is another super fun figure from the line that just continues that trend of endearing me to it. And it is my favorite current line and uh, they're clearly having a lot of fun with the monster line and it's great to see. I love having my collection. The the whole like them not being true scale doesn't bother me at all. So if it doesn't bother you, then absolutely pick this up. And you know, if you like big ridiculous monsters, uh, Tokusatsu in general, you're a Power Rangers fan, you're collecting Lightning Collection, all of that, definitely pick this figure up. It's on various online retailers, many of or a few of which <laughs> I will link to in the description below. Um, it's also, I think, showing up on shelves, potentially, in Targets or something like that. Uh, I think I heard that. I, I might be mistaken, so don't take my word for it. But uh, yeah, I'll absolutely be linking to places you can pick your very own up online in the description. Uh, and yeah, I guess that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you found this review informative and somewhat entertaining. And if you did, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, and or sharing. And beyond that, I will have other ways to help the channel as well, also in the description. So that being said, ultra thanks to you for watching one last time, and I hope you take care of yourself, take care of those around you, and most importantly, stay weird, Simeons.